This has got to be one of the craziest places I've ever found an elk shed. There was some pretty good track in a bed right here. So I was just following this old trail through this thick brush. And look at this. Down in the hole of this root lays a brown elk shed. How crazy. This could be the match to the one I just picked up brown. He was just down the backbone of this, so that could be a set. Not really sure yet. But why on earth would an elk shed down in there? Maybe it's standing right there and dropped it into there. Who knows? But I I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a set to the other one I have. We'll have to wait till we get to the backpack to know though. Too many antlers to go find sit around and look at this for too long but you know it sure looks like the other side of the one i picked up same same shape of the burr and just kind of short and stubby and busted up so go figure that he's all broke up throw that on the frame and get out of here go look for more there we go a nice little bonus Oh, that might be, yeah, that's last year's. Last year's got cracks, hard white. We'll add it to the backpack. And we'll keep going. There's gotta be more in here, guys. There's enough elk sign in here that makes me believe there's more. You literally need to just about step on them sometimes. Walked right by that earlier. Now that I'm coming down, Spotted it. Got just the right angle. We'll leave that one for the squirrels. Go find us some different ones. Get my butt kicked just in these uh, thorns, man. It's such a mess. These thorns are no joke. All this crap. This is oak, but some of these thorns would scratch the heck out of me. Just need to get back to my backpack now. I tried to, I made a big loop found these two on my back and back to the pack we go slowly running out of daylight I'm just making it back to the big set I found finally it's gonna be time to pick those babies up got these two from that hike it was nice I just dropped the pack right here by these sheds and bailed off found two more I think I got the match to that brown so we'll go put them together and see what we got and hopefully find something on the way out of here this set looks sweet everywhere i went and if i could see them in glass i'd glass down at them just to look at them they are rad coming from this angle right here look at those bingo bingo one and two Oh man, get this backpack off. Get me some grub and some mountain ops. And pack those things up and get them out of here. Well, what do you guys think? Looks like set, huh? Oh yeah. Nice little brown set. Got lucky to match those up. That's nice. Now I don't have to wonder where the other side was. Big brown burrs. Love them. I'm going to set this thing up so I can get the pickup on film. Alright, it's time to pick them up. Better get a couple more pictures of them. That's cool. Looks like he busted his main beam. Oh yeah. 
There we go. There they are together. What a stud. <laughs> that fifth was all cool, all bladed out, but he's busted. Give you a look at this side. Nice back end on that sucker. Good fronts, big burr. And this side's been busted. The main beam broke off right there, but nonetheless, a sweet bull. Doesn't have the biggest burrs for how big a bull he is, but he's definitely a stud. That's gotta be last year's browns. <sighs> There we go. There they are together. <laughs> it's about time. All the walking paid off with that set. Ow. Not too tall to fit in the frame. Finally. Whew. Man. Feels good to get a good set. Would have been a pretty, pretty bull too that back in like that solid bull still those royals man what a tank that bull's got some major major potential all loaded up heading down decided to go straight down because this pack is heavy and side hill and it's been kicking my butt so i decided to turn straight down and good thing i did there's a shed down here looks like it's all chewed up from the squirrels or something so it's probably a year or two old but another oak shed dang palmated little sucker squirrels have been loving this one look at that whoa <laughs> whole back end is just a flat palmation that's crazy Squirrels have been getting after this one. It's a weird one. Guess we'll have to add it to the pack. It's the first time I've ever found one like this. I've seen a lot of pictures online or magazines of big bulls with that webbed out palmated back end. Interesting. Not a very old bull by the looks of the burr either. Well guys, today kicked my butt. First day, super slow. Our first half was super slow. Finished strong that second half. Found six. Just getting back to the truck. Oh man. That one's cool you got. The collection, man. Look at that. Is this brown? No, it looks like it's white. Huh? Dang, look how pretty that one is. This looks just like the one I have. I don't know about that. Oh, just same shape. Oh. <laughs> that thing's been killing me. That's probably so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I'm toast. Well, good morning, guys. Here we go again. Another day in the burn. It's our last day in this area before we move and switch to a new spot. So we're hitting this burn. Looking for elk, of course, and there hasn't so far been much sign, but we literally just got started. So there's old sign, but nothing fresh. And the goal is to weed out some elk sheds in this stuff. I'm used to big slopes, being able to kind of zero in on where the elk go based off like the south facing slope where the snow would melt. And up here, they just kind of wander through these burns, which if it does snow here, it burns off pretty quick. And there's a ton of feed. Bridget and Willie are up there and I'm headed this way. Jumping logs all day in this stuff. Well, I'm the first back to the truck, so that shows you how motivated I am laying here. Bridget was the only one to find one. I got super lucky. Let's see the beast. Still so, in good shape, huh? Yeah, it was last year. It was in the sun, too. Hard white, yeah. Yeah. Where's the other side? 
I can't find it. It's probably right there. Probably. I would have never seen this. It was so deep in the grass. I had to you walk. Stepped right, right on it. Pretty. I just walked up the hill and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's what they look can't like." Can't believe it. <laughs> We're in a bind trying to figure out where to go next. The elk just aren't uh, cooperating with our zones. This year's been tough, I think, for a lot of people in a lot of different states just because there's not that much snow. So we're just going to probably move and go try a new spot. Fingers crossed. Ah, stupid heater. Shh. So loud. Oh my gosh, the battery's going to die. All right, guys, I got to make this short and sweet. But I want to say thank you for watching episode number three of the 2018 Shed Tour. It was a lot of fun guys, but I'm not going to lie, at this point I'm pretty worn out and discouraged because we're just not in the elk sign. So at that last scene we were trying to decide and figure out where we want to go from there. Let me tell you this, the next video is so good. I find a giant set. So I want you guys to stay tuned. Please come back. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're back. This time we're on my cell phone because the camera died which is pretty typical of me to run it all the way out till it's dead. So anyways, back to where I was. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Just hit the little button right here in the middle. Tomorrow's video is good. Like I said, we find a big set. I should say Willie finds a big set and you don't want to miss it out. So make sure you subscribe, check back for tomorrow's video. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a good day and good luck to anybody and everybody who is out there shed hunting. I hope you guys find a big set.